So this is the Olympic uh, Boulevard and uh, of course you see some stadiums on the left hand side. The stadium on the left hand side was officially used as a swimming pool during 1956 but at the moment it's been modified into some other form and the stadium which you see on the right hand side very big white in color is the Rod Lever Arena where the Australian Open Championships yes. take place uh, tennis championships take place in the month of January which we just finished so any tennis players coming from India mm -hmm. and did you realize we are crossing a bridge over the river and this is the river Thames uh, how many of you responded to me? Is this the river Thames? No. 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 Then what is it? Why do you call it Thames then? Melbourne River. So uh, at least 70% uh, of the bus is alert. That's very good. Oh, it's, the, <laughs> it's the river Yara. Ah. The river Yara flows through the city of Melbourne and it uh, flows all the way from the Yara Ranges which is in the Yarra Valley and further on it flows into Melbourne and flows into the ocean on the western side of the city and all that you see on the right hand side guys very very green is part of the botanical gardens of uh, Melbourne the botanical gardens of Melbourne is very very old it's uh, crossed over a hundred year mark and it was also heritage listed and uh, they've got the largest collection of plants, herbs, uh, flowers and everything else inside there and uh, it takes one full day to cover the botanical gardens. It's very beautiful but um, unfortunately we can't go inside at the moment because we are running short of time and uh, it's actually called the Royal Melbourne Botanical Gardens. Uh, and as I was saying, it's all <coughs> heritage listed. And now about the river Yarra on the left hand side, the word again comes from the Aboriginal word, which means, let oh, me turn right, uh, which comes from uh, the Aboriginal language. Uh, initially, when the white settlers came uh, rowing on a small boat on the river Yarra, and they stopped on the banks of uh, Melbourne over there, uh, they saw a bunch of aborigines over here and they asked him what is this and their response was Yaro uh, in the aboriginal language which means flowing water so the in the English pronunciation got changed and eventually became Yara so now they call it Yara which originally comes from the aboriginal word